Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and I'm going to do a Will It Crush video today through one of our 6x10 jaw crushers. So I've got these samples laid out here. I wanted to go through them with you real quick. We're going to start over here with concrete. This stuff makes great base for driveways, roadways, trails, that sort of thing. This is granite countertop scrap, and a lot of our customers will buy jaw crushers, take this waste product that they're paying to get rid of, crush it up, and sell it for gravel and decorative stone. The next one is these quarry spalls. These have been shot from a local quarry and gone through a crusher already, so we'll see if our crusher can make them a little bit smaller. The next one is I've got about three quarters of a bucket of rounded river rock. This is a mix of all sorts of different stuff, granite, basalt, metamorphic rocks. These are really quite hard because as they're rolling down the river, only the hardest rock is the stuff that's left over. So we'll see how this goes. These next two samples I'm pretty excited about. This is a quartz gold ore. It's really hard on the Mohs hardness scale. So we'll see if it'll crush through our jaw crusher. And then this last one here, I've got three or four jade boulders that we're gonna see if our little six by 10 jaw crusher can crush. These aren't quite as hard as the quartz on the Mohs hardness scale, but they're extremely tough. So this might be the hardest rock I've ever crushed through our jaw crusher. We'll see how it goes. Now be sure to stick around till the end because I've got a few surprises for you at the end of the video. Here's our 6x10 jaw crusher we're going to use to crush up our samples today. I'll pour the rocks in this feed hopper. They're going to work their way down through these jaws here, get crushed and fall out the bottom as crushed rock and gravel into that black tub. This unit is run by a three-phase electric motor. We also sell them as a gas option or a no motor option, but that's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about later in the video, is we're coming out with a fourth option for you, and I wanna get your input on it. Here's our concrete crush down. I've got it set on the finest setting. So this is about as fine as a six by 10 will crush. And a little later in the video, we'll open it up. But look at that beautiful, beautiful aggregate. Great looking stuff. So here's our granite. I've sorted it by color, so the white and the black. But now watch what happens when you wash all the dust off of it. Now you can really see the color difference. Here's our quarry spalls. A huge, huge majority of this is under half inch. This would make beautiful trail gravel or gravel for your driveway. It's gorgeous stuff. But now on the next samples, I'm gonna open the jaws up and we'll crush it a little coarser so you can see the crusher make a coarser product.
So here's the river rock. And yeah, there's some granite, here's some quartzite, here's some basalt. So it crushed it up. <laughs> I think I had the jaws open maybe a little bit too much for the size of the rock, because some of them just fell right through. But you can see we can get up to about a two or two and a half inch crush with this small little jaw crusher. And it crushes even these nice hard river rocks. But now let's get to the two most exciting ones, the jade and the quartz. Now I want to take a little bit closer look at this quartz ore because if you're a follower of the channel, this is the stuff that I flew off the mountainside here about six months ago. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, emailing me when this is gonna get crushed and processed. Well, the answer is soon, I'm working on it. But I wanted to show you how it works through the jaw crusher first. So let's see if we can crush it down to two inch minus. Well, that stuff crushed up just like butter through the jaw crusher and you may notice it goes way way faster when the jaws are open and you get a bigger coarser crush but now let's get on to the jade here's the jade we're going to be crushing this is nephrite jade and i actually found this on the fraser with dan hurd here a couple months back and so we're going to be crushing this up and i want to talk real quick about the difference between hardness and toughness. So like I said earlier, quartz is very hard. It's like a seven on the Mohs hardness scale and it scratches. So the quartz would actually scratch this jade because it's harder, but the jade is way, way tougher. All these little mineral grains are like fibers, they interlock. And so it makes it really, really tough. So we'll see if we can get through this stuff, crush it down into that two inch minus pieces. I'm gonna be interesting to see what this looks like on a fresh face, because this has all been rolled down the river. So I want to see a nice fresh face of it. Here's our crushed jade pieces. They came out pretty nice, but boy were they hard. Holy smokes, that's probably the hardest thing I've ever crushed in my jaw crusher before. And I wanted to show you these pieces. These are some I got wet. So you can really see kind of the character of them. Look how pretty green they are on the inside of that one. Got all sorts of different green color. So really, really cool stuff, but it is very tough. So I wanted to mention real quick that we've been getting a lot of emails and phone calls on guys interested in running our small six by 10 or eight by 12 jaw crusher off of PTO. And the good news is, is we're working on that right now. So if you're interested in a PTO run unit, Give us a call or shoot us an email. Well, I don't want this crushed jade to go to waste. It's, it's too cool to just spread in the driveway. So what I've done is I've, I have two bags here. I have a bag that's made up of a little bit coarser pieces with no fines. And then I have a bag over here that has also quite a few coarse pieces, but this is where all the fines went. And then I had one rock that I've got wet now but it snuck through the jaw crusher without getting crushed. So here we go, coarse jade is approximately 14 pounds. This stuff would be great for tumbling. And then here's the other bag of the jade with the fines. Weighs a little more at 17 pounds. Also good for tumbling or whatever else you're gonna do with the fine uh, jade chips. And then this little palm stone here weighs a couple pounds. We'll list him separate. I'm gonna put it on eBay. So check out the links in the description. In addition to the jade bags, I wanted to put two bags of the gold ore up for sale. If you want to be part of this crazy helicopter adventure that I'm going on, now's your chance. There's some really nice pieces in there. If you have a saw, you could slab them up and look for gold that way, or you could just crush them down, pan it out, and see if there's gold in there. And you will know before anybody else, including myself, if I've struck it rich or I broke my pick on this helicopter project. That wraps up our Will It Crush video. And as you can see, the jaw crusher really didn't have any problem crushing any of the things I threw at it, including the nephrite jade, which is probably the hardest stuff I've ever put through my crusher. So I've got a challenge for you guys. If you have a rock you think is harder than nephrite jade, shoot me an email and we'll see if we can get a sample out here and we'll see if it'll crush through our jaw crusher. If you want more information on that PTO jaw crusher we're developing, shoot us an email or give us a call. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.